How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, Ringo Flats, back again with some more Breath of the Wild, and, uh, yeah, we continue onwards. Just got that shrine done last episode. It was actually quite easy. I thought it was going to be more complex than it was. Kind of disappointed, not going to lie. But, uh, I'm not sure where we're going to go from here when it comes to shrines. I need to look at my, uh, my little shrine companion here. Okay, we've got that one. It says there should be one here. I remember there's one over here that has like a, like a little flower thing. I don't remember what that one was, but that might be this one. Oh yeah, it is this one. So this one has a shrine quest, but I'm pretty sure the shrine quest just takes place right here. So let's, let's make our way there. Um, I don't know, the easiest way is probably... What tower was it that I was jumping from here? Was it was it that tower I was jumping to get... I can't remember. No, no, I was jumping from that tower. Okay. Honestly, I don't know if that's going to be closer. And let's try it out. Wee. I guess I'll just do what I'll stick to what I said. We'll, uh, yeah, 30 shrines. And I said, we'll stop the, uh, so blah, 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 blah. we will finish up the sh all the shrines we can here in central Hyrule, and then we'll start making our way towards, uh, the snowy area. Sounds like a good plan, huh? Yeah, this shrine is one of the shrines that has a quest, but just because it has a quest doesn't mean that, you know, it's not out in the open. Now, I kind of like some of the shrines that are like that in this game. I don't even hate shrine quests. I just haven't been doing any shrine quests except for, like, real simple ones just for the fact that I don't want to waste. I wouldn't say I don't want to waste time. I just, uh... There's so much I want to do, like games I want to play and stuff. I just uh, would prefer to do the easier ones. At least first. I'm, I'm pretty sure with how many shrines are in the game. There's going to be some I'm going to have to get the shrine quests for if I want to get my, uh, if I want to get the full stamina and uh, at least 20 hearts. So that's the thing. But for right now, it'll be better just to get the easy ones first then we can focus on the ones that have a quest and then obviously the ones that are like a uh, test of strength but I mean we can obviously do the uh so I'm talking that boy stay down to know what's good for you, stay down. I don't know why, but this just feels like a Lionel place, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I need to open up. I have another Breath of the Wild app that shows me like where uh, boss enemies are and stuff. Like the big scary enemies. Is that another shrine over there? Well, that dang sure is. Okay, we'll go to that. Actually, let me mark that one. But, uh, I remember looking on that map and there being, like, uh, little markers for the scary enemies everywhere. And I guess I just have been lucky. I know I, know I already talked about this, but it's just, a, I think it's fascinating how lucky I've been not to stumble upon a bunch of them. It's crazy. You know, you never try to go from the, you know, I don't even know what that is, actually. It's not the bottomless swamp. 
the drog, as I like to call it. Yeah, so this girl will kill me if I step in her flowers. She will grab my, she will grab me by the shoulders and she will uh, tear my lungs out. Watch. What do you think you're doing? You must not have the flowers. Yeah. I've planted flowers around the shrine. Please be careful where you step. You don't want to hurt them, do you? Yeah, I could care less. Honestly. Woman, I could care less. Whoa, that's a new trick I've never done before. The old jump to... Twisty 3000. Actually, I want to kind of save the hammer. I like to use the hammer, you know, when I, I need to do uh, stuff that needs the hammer, obviously. <laughs> that was kind of a stupid way to say that. Okay. As long as my aim is true. Man, we don't have to actually do too many more shrines to get the, uh, to get the minimum heart requirement. Well, but also that's not including, I'm not thinking about the, uh, the other requirements. Oh yeah. I didn't think about that. That right there, pro game remove. The Frogger. Here's a real question. Has anyone seen the, uh, the video of Chuck E. Cheese saying poggers in a New York accent and then making a strange gulping noise? That video haunts me. You know, there's just some videos I just think about. And there's not even anything just totally, you know, scary or messed up about him. But there's just uh, there's just something off, okay? There's just something wrong when Chuck E. Cheese says poggers. I don't know what to... I mean, I don't really know what to tell you. Like, can we all agree that that's not a good thing? Him going, poggers! Oh, this is like... This reminds me of a... Uh, 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 like a fair carnival game. Hey, that's pretty good. Screw you, Barrel. It says this bow's been broken for a while, so I hope this isn't the final. Or I hope this is, at least I get one more arrow shot. Well. getting a little close to me, huh? Ah, screw it, bomb arrow. I know I said I was trying to save him, but... Desperate times call for desperate measures. Actually, let me make sure it's off. I need to be using regular arrows. I don't know why I have fire arrows equipped. I mean, I have a stupid amount, and I mean, I basically have an unlimited... Well, yeah, I do have an unlimited supply. I just have to keep scanning amiibos. Tell you what I'm excited for is the Mario Kart expansion pack. Okay. I don't know if I've already said this on the channel, but Mario Kart is one game 
that it's probably the only game that I'm very good at. And uh, actually, you know, this actually has a little bit of a story that can be uh, said about it. So I'm a, I, I, th I know I've already said on here before that I'm a big NASCAR fan. I've been a big car guy. Obviously, I go to a school to, be, to become a car mechanic, but a, or sorry, technician. But I, yeah, I'm a big car guy, and I'm obviously a big racing guy. Well, I love racing games like Forza, Forza Horizon. Yeah, I'll let you know I'm more of an Xbox guy than a PlayStation guy. But, uh, big fans of, you know, all those racing games. But the thing is, is no one ever wants to play the racing games with me. Not because, you know, they're, they're just being being mean to being mean. But, you know, they just that's just not anyone I really know. That's not really their forte. Except for some people. I, I mean, a lot of my friends started liking Forza Horizon, so we played that a lot. But... You know, like, I can never really get them to play motorsports, except for sometimes we'd play Daytona on Forza 6. But, uh, Mario Kart was always fun, because everyone loved to play Mario Kart. Because, you know, it's more, ar it's, well, I mean, uh, it's more, it's a lot more arcadey than any other game. But, of course, me being me, and racing being, and cars being my favorite thing in the world, I obviously took Mario Kart more seriously than, uh, other people did. And, uh, now whenever I play people in Mario Kart, they don't want to race me anymore, because I, I end up beating them by quite a large margin. That's kind of sad. You okay, woman? You okay? Hello? Hello? You okay? Woman? You okay? You okay? You seem okay. No, you don't. You okay? Hey! I killed him! What a rude woman! Listen, I, I, actually, she needs to go to the hospital. When, if, you get, if you ever get knocked out, you need to go to the hospital, you know? It's, uh... I think I'm pretty sure that automatically means you have a concussion if your brain wrecks so hard on the inside of your head that you got blacked out. I'm not a medical expert, but even I know that's not good. She, yeah, she needs to, she needs to stop running right now before she, you know, you don't know if she has like a brain hemorrhage or something. She, she's just tearing open further by sprinting like that. But no, no, she's just going to do what she wants. Nothing old Link can do will stop her. He scares me when he just stands there. I hate. No, I love him, but that honestly though, growing up with Wind Waker, and uh, I was happy they brought back the Koroks, but I, it is a little scary seeing one that big and only one that big. Why is he that much bigger than the others? You know, it brings it brings forward an important question. Metal connections. Wagokata Shrine. Regatta de Blanc. Look at that. I hear my cat calling, but it's not his food time yet, so he can just wait. Like a good little boy. No, Spangle. It's not your dinner time yet, buddy. No. No. He's a little rascal. I love him, though. You gotta love him. Uh oh, he's. I hear him banging stuff around. He's getting angry. Temper tantrums aren't gonna get you anywhere, son. Entire resting. Okay, I have an idea. It's a stupid idea, but a good idea. 
so therefore it's not stupid. We stack the bricks and then we use that as like a, if you've ever seen like a, a mountainside ladder where it has to start leaning up at an angle because of the structural integrity will not allow it to like go completely uh, vertical like it should. Will it work? Probably not, but you don't know unless you try, right? That wasn't what you were supposed to do. That wasn't what you were supposed to do. Hey, if we could, like, stop moving the camera automatically, that would be kind of nice, actually. I would actually really like it if you did that. Perfect. It's another heart piece now. Thank you. Okay, over here, there's a minor test of strength next to the scary castle one. Do I attempt to go for that? It's on this island right here. I've never been to this one. This is one I haven't done. It's a minor test of strength, so it's not going to be hard to do, but... It's more of the fear part. There's also one in the castle, but we're definitely not going for that one yet. You know what? Let's try it out. It doesn't hurt to try. Yeah, so we need to get... I'm trying to think of how many more shrines we need to do to meet the minimum heart requirement, at least. So we're at seven hearts. So now we'll nine, eleven, thirteen. So at least twelve more shrines for that. Then interlay... Uh oh, you don't see anything. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. You don't see me. You don't see me. He sees me. Ah, <laughs> you can't reach me from here though. Can't, he can't reach me up from, from over here, right? You know, maybe I should have uh, marked on my map where I'm heading. No, they could climb like that. That's scary. I didn't even see him. Yeah, so there should be one on that mountain over there. It doesn't say it requires a shrine quest, so I'm not expecting it to be too difficult. Besides, unless if there's obviously enemies over there, which there undoubtedly will be. So let's save right here. But you know, you gotta, you gotta have faith. In not only yourself, but yourself. Ooh, good. 
Okay, let me pause it. Is it exactly on that point? Yes, I, the, although I think it might be in the mountain. Thought it'd be something like this. You know what mission I'm not excited for? Uh, I remember it taking me quite a few tries to do it the last time I did it. But it won't, this won't be till like near the end of this playthrough, but when we're going to do a uh, Thunderblight Ganon, you have to get this uh, like artifact thing in order to get through the, uh, in order to get through the mountain, uh, not the mountain, or to get through the dust cloud. And uh, I think you have to get it from the Yiga clan. And there's some part in it. I don't remember exactly what it is. But you have to infiltrate the Yiga clan. That's all I remember. And uh, I, I don't like... I, as y'all know, I don't like sneak missions like that. But, you know, it's part of it. It's part of the journey. Yay! Hey! Old buddy does quite a bit of damage. Second. Oh yeah, I have another shield spot. I was gonna be like, I guess I can just replace one I have. So since we're right here at this little island, apparently there is a uh, shrine right across the river. Although I do believe, it, I'm pretty sure this is near the uh, tower that I hate the most. So maybe at the end of this episode, I'll just attempt it. And if I do it, it'll be awesome because it's the only tower that I absolutely despise. And if I don't do it, it's expected, so... Just need to get over to that side. The area over here, though, where it is, I honestly really love it because it's really unique for Zelda. Like, I can't really think of an area that looks like it. Like the bog. It says bog area, but there's like giant mushrooms. Like a certain other Nintendo game that's kind of you know less known than Zelda. I think it's called like a uh, Lucario or something like that. 
He's like an Italian plumber, or like a Spanish plumber. There we go. It's a cool bridge over there. I see something scary on it, though. Yeah, I really like this area, but it is an area that I uh, just don't travel to a whole lot. Okay, so this should be... Does this require a quest? No. Oh, it says two orbs to guide you, so that can mean something weird. No, that is a problem. Those look like black bacoblins, and they are a little bit more difficult. No way you saw me from here. This might be a little too vertical, or... I don't know. Sometimes Link can't do these beyond 90 degree climbs, but he's doing good right now. You can make Alex Honnell proud. That dude is crazy. He can, that boy can climb. I call him boy, I think he's like in his mid-30s. Maybe not, though. I don't want to give the wrong age of people. Just made it. Okay, there's the tower. No way they still see me from up here. I don't believe that. But yeah, there's like the big mushroom. But yeah, I like this area, but it is an area I just never go to. Right, this, these look like some prime Lionel land. Anytime I see a big flat area, I assume Lionel. horses I know that's probably a bad habit but man they're so fast you can't really run away from them like you can the guardians because the guardians only form of attack is that laser so as long as you can get out of the way of that laser you don't have to worry at all well anyway it's enough for this episode uh, if y'all Oh, I like that. You can go down in the... If you like this video, you can hit that like button. And if you really liked it, you know, maybe hit that subscribe button. It would be nice. It would help. It would help out. Uh, you know, if I'm on Twitch and Instagram, then description below. And uh, with that, have a good day.